I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the UNLV Rebels and the Bruins of UCLA. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. And here come the Bruins. The Bruins seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? UCLA looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete. And Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I'm picking the boom. Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. This safety's a big-time player, but he's going to have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that. Kirk making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They come out in a nickel, drop back to pass. He's going left. The senior makes the catch. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. Pro formation here. They'll throw on first down. Let's it fly. And he got it! Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. On the 11, going in. up the play action throws this one out to the right he's knocked out of bounds and they get a few yards on that little reception check it out he ran a good route on this play and the timing of the pass was good and they were able to get a nice game yeah. let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown here's the give He's gobbled up in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. They go with a toss. Touchdown, Bruins! He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot for yards to carry out, but hey, it still puts a dent in the score.
and he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Number nine, back to return. He kicks it. And they can forget about returning this one. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. UNLV sets up with four receivers. On the ground with the tailback. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. The halfback picks up a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. He's going to go for the home run. And it falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 21. The Rebel line up with three wide. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's under some heat. They'll make the sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. to punt this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 21 fields it at the 44. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Bruins line up in a split back set. He's looking for his man. Complete. Knocked out of bounds. Loss of about two. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. UCLA comes to the line with three wide. Here's the option left. Tackle. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 36-yard line. formation here play action throws it to the outside and he can't make the catch this incompletion is credited to the wide end absolutely the quarterback executed his end of the deal Formation here. Toss. A few yards there and a first down on the halfback toss. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. 
And the impact tight end is hoping to get the ball in his hands. Back to pass. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Brings it in. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow more replay to recap it. First and ten. Ball on the 16. The Rebel line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He passes it. It's tipped. Incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 16. UNLV lines up for the shotgun set. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. Third and 11. Ball on the 15-yard line from the gun. He steps up, looking, short toss, and it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 21, fields it to the 37, bounces off the would-be tackler. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. UCLA lines up in a bunch formation. Pitch left. And he stopped behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball right around midfield. The Bruins line up with four wideouts. Big opening. And they make the stop. A gain of eight on the carry. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 39. And they have three receivers bunched. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. He's going right. It's tipped. 
That ball should have been picked off. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man wasn't even close to being open. Six DBs in the lineup. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's right down the middle. And that was a long, long field goal. Boy, that kick can sure kick the football. One great kick. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll go to work at the 20. They line up in the shotgun. A little misdirection. Miss tackle. And he's hit hard. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Ball on the 16-yard line. It's been pretty lopsided here in the first quarter. The score is UCLA 17, UNLV nothing. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Rebel come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Deep pass down the left side. It falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and 14. Ball on the 16. The Rebels line up with five receivers. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Ball on the 16-yard line. UNLV ready to put this one away. Number 21, back deep to return. He punts it. Number 21, fields it at the 44, tries to juke. Inside the 30, big opening, touchdown, UCLA. And just like that, it's six points. Wow, he looked like he was shot out of a ten. Wow. Yeah, or a slingshot. It seemed like everybody else was going at one speed, and he was going at another. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, UCLA, 24, UNLV, nothing. kick number 26 fields it in the end zone he jukes not a whole lot of success their last time out not at all this offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath they'll get the ball here at the 25 at the 25 yard line first and 10 UNLV lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. And it's incomplete. The halfback couldn't hang on after that hit. Yo, I think he got his cage a little rattle in that one. Second 
Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He tosses it short. Way to look it in. They gained five yards there. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 30. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. He's going left. Incomplete pass. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Number 21, back to return, and he's already proven he can break these with a block or two. Number 41 gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. Pro formation here. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, UCLA. Oh, my, when it rains, it pours. Ha, that's why I brought one of these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch it, coach. You're going to take an eye now. Put that thing away. Like Brad said, when it rains, it pours. So I came prepared, my friend. Very funny, coach. Now, seriously, can you close that thing off so we can see the game? the PAT. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score UCLA 31, UNLV nothing. UCLA lines up for the kickoff. Number nine and number 26 deep to return. Kicks it deep. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. UNLV lines up in a bunch formation. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Up the middle. And he's drilled. Oh, man. He'll feel that one more. That's called it for the state. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Third and 14, ball on their own 16. The Rebels line up with five receivers. He drops back, looks. Somehow gets the ball away. Ball's loose, and down he goes. Not much hope now. That fumble was not what they needed. They're already losing big. Let's just hope they don't throw the towel in all together. UCLA sets up in the eye. 
They go with a toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Good play there by the defense. This is just a toss to the tailback. But the defense gets a good read on his play and was able to stop him for a loss. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. And the impact player at tight end is in the zone. They'll give it off here. He jukes him, and he's taken down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Yupu. Touchdown, UCLA! And the big lead just got bigger, folks. I've seen some amazing comebacks in my day, but I'm not too confident that I'm going to see one today. I could be wrong, you guys, but I just don't see it happening. I mean, these guys aren't just scoring, they're pitching a shutout, too. Tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. UCLA to kick this one off. Number nine and number 26 back deep to return. He kicks it. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. Sheds that one. He stiff arm. We might see two hands on the ball after their last drive. I mean, if you start thinking too much about fumbling, you become less effective as a runner. They just need to go out there and play their game. They'll set up shot at the 39-yard line. Three wideouts here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they got him for a loss. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 38. UNLV sets up with four receivers, looking, and he's going to be sacked. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Third down, 15, ball on the 34-yard line. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. Down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. UNLV lining up the punt. Number 41, back to return. Number 41 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 21 takes it at the 21. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. High formation here. They'll throw on first down. He steps up, throws down the middle. Incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. The 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Drop back to pass. Over the middle. Finds his receiver. They'll bring him down. Gain of nine. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the 33. UCLA will line up in a jumbo set here. Tackle. UCLA calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. This is when the impact player and tight end can make play. Got it to the senior. UCLA takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Second and seven. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. Nice play fake. He rolls left. Throws this one out to the left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number 14 with four wide receivers. Back to pass. Throws short. In and out of his hand. There is no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, and that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable. The Bruins line up the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number nine calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll take over at the 20. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Got hit as he threw. Complete. And they make the stop. UNLV calls a timeout. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 29. UCLA brings in the nickel here, throws it to the outside, has some daylight across midfield, and he's tackled. UNLV takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 35. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. They'll throw on first down. Looking down the middle. Big opening. Brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Number 15 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. That pass falls incomplete in the end zone. Chalk that one up to the pressure in the quarterback's face. Absolutely. They had a tremendous rush coming in at him, and it was all he could do to avoid the sack. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it splits the upright. And it's been total dominance here in the first half. 
Our score, UCLA 38, UNLV 3. UCLA got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number nine fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. up in the pocket going deep on the left side and that one's fallen incomplete he had his wide out but he couldn't hit him when he misses it's usually high and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on it's second down and 10 to go ball on their own 20 the defense lines up with six dbs drops back to pass wants to throw outside and it's incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up, throws, and it's caught. Tackle. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. UNLV lining up the punt. Number 41 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 21 fields it at the 26. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Guys, what kind of adjustments do you think this defensive coordinator made at halftime? He'll probably blitz a lot more here in the second half. That way, he can force the quarterback to get rid of it sooner. If he has to get rid of the ball sooner, then this impact safety we've been talking about is going to be waiting there for an interception. I think you'll see him make more plays in the second half than he did in the first half. Second and ten, ball on the 35. They're lining up in the 5-2. He's going right. Off his hands, incomplete. Dropped by the wideouts. The intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He tosses it short. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Nice stop by the defense. Well, he let him catch it. But they were not going to let him get that first down. UCLA ready to punt this one away. Number 17 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 9 takes it at the 14. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 16. Start the drive at the 16-yard line. First and 10. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. A little shake and bake move. And he's tackled. So they get about three on the draw. Great. 
Second and seven. Ball on their own 19. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Spins upfield. They'll drop him for a loss. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 19. The Rebel come out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. And he's hit as he throws. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. UNLV lining up the punt. Number 21. Number 41 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 21 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they had the ball before? Exactly. They threw it out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll go to work at the 35-yard line. UCLA goes with the ace set here. There on the top. And he's taken down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Ball on their own 35. High formation here. Drop back to pass. He steps up with the throw. He's into the open field. Complete. Down the sideline. And he's all the way down to the 29. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. They line up in an eye. Nice play fake. Throw short. Incomplete. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap. Drop back and fire it. You're all right if you do that, I promise you. They line up with split backs. Cut. 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 He drops back. Steps up, looking. Throws to the middle. Complete. He's all the way down to the four-yard line. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. They come out in a goal line set. Back to pass. Over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. The Bruins come to the line with their jumbo package. Little handoff. Can't wrap him up. Touchdown, UCLA! Nice run by the fullback to put six on the board. You give this kid a chance, he can get it done. That was a nice looking run.
and he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. UCLA is ready to kick it away. Number nine and number 26 back to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. A little juke. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap. They'll get the ball here at the 16-yard line. UNLV in a four-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Throws to the middle. Got him on the run. And down he goes. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 29. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. With the throw, and he's tackled. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on him, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 31. The Rebels line up with three wide. Bad snap. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Comes across the middle. In and out of his hand. The pass was intended for his tight end, who was well covered. Yep, chalked that one up to great defensive effort. Third and eight. Ball on their own 31. The Rebels come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks, throws it deep downfield. And he makes the catch. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. Look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, UCLA 45, UNLV 3. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Across the middle. They connect again. The defender had no shot at breaking up that touchdown pass to the wideout. He was caught a little out of position. Yes, indeed. the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Number 
17. Needs a good bounce for a possible recovery here. Here goes nothing. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle. No gain. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. UCLA comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. The defense Second lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of a yard. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. UCLA lines up in a pro set. There's a play fake. Looking. He wants the long ball. And he got it! What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. High formation here. Touchdown, UCLA! And they just continue to pour it on out there. I'll tell you what, this has been a tremendous effort all game long. What a performance. This is one team that's been extremely well prepared. These young men have played about as good a game as you could ask. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, UCLA, 52, UNLV, 10. UCLA to kick this one off. Number 26 and number 9 back ready to return. Kicks it deep. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 20. The Rebel come out in a shotgun. Steps up. He throws it. And it's caught. He's into the open field at the 40. And he's brought down. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First it's first and 10. Ball right around midfield. UNLV comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Yeah. 
Going with the shotgun here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. He's going right. Batted ball. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. It's third down and ten. Ball right around midfield. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He unloads it. And he's got it! He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. Drop back to pass. He steps up over the middle. The receiver had the ball right in his sights, but he couldn't gather it in. Unreal. Did I just see that? Did he just drop a touchdown or what? Number four is back in the gun. He dropped back. He's going left. Knocked out of bounds. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. The Rebel line up with three wide. Takes off a tackle. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. So he keeps it, and he takes it in for six. No surprise that this guy's on the football. He played half back in high school. the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is UCLA 52, UNLV 17. Onside kick seems to be the only option here. With the onside kick. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. UCLA sets up in the eye. They'll bring him down, and not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41. UCLA lines up in a pro set. Remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. Right. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. UCLA lines up with a split backfield. Yeah. They 
they'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Right. Second, Second down and 12. Ball on the 33. The Bruins line up in a split back set. He's got an opening. Makes a move. Tackle. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. turns up when in the red zone and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone when performance matters the most. The Bruins go with the eye formation. You'll get it again. Brought down. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Bruins line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He broke his ankle. They'll bring him down. Seven yards there. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. UCLA looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, UCLA 52, UNLV 17. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.